Hey baseball fans, how's it going? Hayden here. And in today's video, I'll be going over some predictions of the Mets favorite, Jeff McNeil. So, let's get right into it. So it's safe to say Jeff McNeil has been bursting out with the New York Mets ever since his call-up back in 2018, which led us Mets fans to soon realize that he is a star with the bat and his glove. The flying squirrel doesn't mess around. Getting into McNeil's 2020 stats, it was a down year for him compared to his 2019 season. But to show how much of an elite player McNeil is, his 2020 stats are above average for a regular typical player when he struggles. In 2020, McNeil's power did go down a bit, but he was swinging the bat at the first pitch and making contact at a rapid expense. McNeil had a batting average of 311, a 1.5 war, an OPS of 836, 4 home runs, 23 RBIs, 20 walks, 57 hits, and only 183 at-bats. So these were pretty adequate stats for McNeil. Now getting to the most exciting part is McNeil in 2021. What should us Met fans expect from the 29-year-old flying squirrel? And I think it's safe to say we should expect a bright future for him. Getting started on the defensive point of McNeil, he will be an everyday second baseman, which is his natural position and he claims to feel most comfortable and confident at. McNeil has played a career of 52 games at second base, having only three errors on a record through 475 innings played at that position. Also, his outs above average ranked quite low. He did happen to play other positions, so him staying at one position will evade his OAA to improve his overall fielding ability at second base. I believe a gold glove for McNeil is a strong possibility. Now getting into his bat, I predict McNeil will have a batting average of 306, an OPS of 826, 20 home runs, 75 RBIs, 42 walks, 174 hits, and 572 at-bats. And it's safe to say McNeil will be swinging at every first pitch, and hopefully fans are back in the stand, so we will not be hearing what he has to say once he strike out. McNeil is a face of the game and brings that mentality to the game of baseball, which us Mets fans likes to see. I predict McNeil will be the starting second baseman for the NL in the 2021 All-Star Game in Atlanta. Even some hot takes, such as him winning a gold glove, which is very possible, and him making the MLB All-Second Team just behind DJ LeMahieu. My only hopeful recommendation for McNeil would be his performance against breaking pitches. Despite McNeil going on a season surge in 2020 of September, McNeil did have a rough time with breaking pitches after posting a 112 WRCA plus in 2019 against sliders. That number eventually dropped all the way down to negative 7 and for curveballs dropped from 180 to 68. It will be interesting to see how McNeil's spot in the lineup will impact the pitch mix he ultimately faces is moving forward, especially if he leads off second or whatever position he'll lead off in the batting order. Now, another thing I did want to address about Jeff McNeil is his power. We saw Jeff McNeil suffered a wrist injury at the end of 2019, and those are notorious for snapping power, whether it was the wrist or the weird COVID 60 game season or just simply decisions by McNeil, he went 33 games without hitting a homer at the start of 2020. And since there were only 60 games played, you could see how this might drag out his power numbers, similar to like Pete Alonso. I do think down the stretch in 2019 dating back, Daniel Murphy had similar things to Jeff McNeil, like transformation, where he pulled the ball for power rather than flick singles to the opposite field. It hurt his average, but it was a trade-off worth making because his OPS went up. Even with a two fifty eight batting average BIP in his final 42 games that season. So now, the general question to me bringing up the power. Should we believe the power showed down the stretch in 2019 and for a couple games in 2020? Or was that a sample of flukes both times? For what it's worth, we see McNeil hits both for average and power, especially as we saw in the minor leagues in 2018. But when he was promoted to the majors, he sacrificed power. It's my belief that the power is real. No, he's no threat to the challenge Pete Alonso for the team lead in homers. But there's no reason he can't post numbers similar to Daniel Murphy with the Nationals in 2016. 
Overall, to sum up this video, my general thoughts on Jeff McNeil are very highly and confident in knowledge that McNeil's elite bat will be active in an upgraded lineup as he enters his fourth season among other notable achievements, as well as some incredible plays on the field by the Flying Squirrel. Alrighty, and that is the end of this video. Please feel free to let me know in the comments what do you think Jeff McNeil's stats will be in 2021? What awards do you think he'll win? How do you think he'll perform? And please make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Till next time, baseball fans, see ya.